It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's a conversation that must be had today and not tomorrow. Welcome to another episode of I'm Listening, I'm Ready with your host, Andrew E. Guy. Let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew E. Guy. Welcome to another episode of the Isle of Podcast. That's right. It is a podcast that's dedicated for those who are on the go, whether you're traveling by land, air, or sea. This is me, Andrew E. Guy in the M-O-R-N-I-N-G. You know I'm always excited, but right now I'm completely pumped. That's right. Now I have duct tape. It's all on this chair. I got to hold myself down because we are going for what we're calling the financial ride. That's right. The roller coaster is on and it's go time baby i'm too pumped i know you're saying andrew like what's the deal okay why are you so excited i'm excited about my guests i'm excited about people because that's what we do here at the ala podcast i'm listening i'm ready so listen guys let me tell you a little bit about what's going on i am here with matt dev financials founder i mean this gentleman is off the hook I'm talking the knowledge that he's bringing. I'm, I'm not even going to talk anymore. I'm going to give you a little bit about his bio, and we're going to jump right into the conversation because I want to talk to you and help you to understand some financial expertise that's going to help unravel and to get you out of that level of comfort and disrupt your normalcy and anything that's hidden about your financial freedom and how you can become your own banker. Who is this gentleman? Steven is helping you to take control of your financial life without the risk. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome my good friend all the way from Vancouver, BC, Mr. Steven Devlin. Steven, say what's up to the people. Andrew, man, you're the man. You're the man. I love your energy. Oh, we just want to hear from you. You don't want to hear me, do you? No, no, no. I'm, no, like, no. Got- I'm just like captivated. Like, come on, let's ca- continue more with you. This is awesome. No, no man. I love, love you, you, man. We want to hear such a you. pleasure, such a pleasure and honor to be part of this podcast. And uh, just, I just want to tell you what great things you're doing, just having this podcast <laughs> to get people moving and get them thinking and get them to take action, right? I love it, man. I love it. We're in the same business. You're just helping the people to take action when it comes to their finance because most people are scared about that thing, right? It's like finance, I think, should be at the top of the level why people are fearful. They're scared scared about public speaking. That's probably the top three, right? But they never mentioned finance because as soon as they say finance, they're like, oh, that again. It's the big elephant in the room that no one wants to talk about. Steven, yeah. we're going to talk about this because we want to open their eyes. We want to let them know what's going on. And before I go anywhere, normally most um, hosts, they will wait to the end of the show to plug their guests. I don't do any of that. We are letting them know right <laughs> out of the gate where they can find you. So there is no mistake. And say, oh, we have to wait till the end. I want to give them that stuff. So as soon as they hear your voice, they're going to run and get this information. We want people to come to you because that's what we're here for, to serve. Because I'm a podcast. I'm listening. I'm yeah. ready. We want them to listen and we want them to take action. And that's the purpose of our show right here. So listen, I'm going to just pause for a little bit and I want you to tell them where they can find you right now. Go. Well, they can find me where else because this is all we're doing is being on the internet. That's correct. <laughs> Working correct. from home, right, everybody? Uh, yeah. yeah, you can reach out at, to find us online at macdevfinancial.com, macdevfinancial.com. We've got some incredible resources on our website, including MacDev TV, where I've done 22 seasons, 20 episodes of Financial Control for Life to teach you how to take back the wealth you need to create certainty in your life, to create goals, to understand how money works, how the billionaires manage money and the banks, and really start to empower you to take some action. That's kind of the whole MacDev TV <laughs> So yeah, macdevfinancial.com is the place to check us out. We're right across Canada. We're licensed right across. So we help individuals and business owners right across Canada. All right. Awesome. Now, Stephen, listen, I mean, your credentials, man, they go out the roof. I'm serious. Obviously, people need to understand who we're dealing with here. I really don't think they get it. But I think as we continue this conversation, they're like, whoa. I mean, like my eyes pop out just like that. They're going to get off the, the, this call and they're going to get on the internet to look you up that's what we want from our (laughs) guests we want them to see 
the caliber of guests that we bring on here, because this is not your everyday podcast. We're trying to educate people so they can listen to the right stuff and take action. That's what it's about. We don't want them to be the same after they get off this show. And that's what a series is about, disrupting normalcy. So right off the top, though, um, Steve, how did you get into this business? How did you get into this? Well, a lot of times in life, it takes big challenges. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it takes hardship and pain. I agree. And dissatisfaction. Mm-hmm. And uh, it took uh, a, a, a bad time with my wife and I, who's my business partner and uh, amazing woman. Uh, I wouldn't be where I am today without her. She's our CEO of MacDev Financial. Mm-hmm. And um, we've been entrepreneurs uh, actually since 20, 2001. Wow. We've been married since 2000. We're both uh, married once before. And we had uh, several businesses that went well. And one business didn't go well for us back in 07, 08. And we were doing really well. And all of a sudden, we had no money. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden we had multiple, multiple amounts of debt, like suffocating type of debt where you have, you know, I don't know how long you want to go, but tons of creditors. Wow. You know? And, you know, the thing you always do is you think, oh, well, great. You know, the local bank is going to help us and bail us out. And that's the people that we turn to for help. Right. And we were thinking, wow, we got to go bankrupt or consumer proposal. And I couldn't sleep at night. And I was just, I'm a worrisome person that, you know, kind of in my personality a little bit. So it kind of magnitude big time on me then. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's one of those things. And one of my favorite quotes in, and that I use a lot is Mark Twain's quote, right? Is the banker is, the, is someone who gives you a fella, an umbrella, Right. Right. When it's sunny, well, then we'll take the umbrella away when it's raining, right? Wow. And that's wow. kind of the definition of the banker. Is mm-hmm. Michelle and I went in there in that summer, that August of uh, 2008, actually. And uh, we were crying out in the car lot in the, in the car later because the banker didn't do anything for us. Mm-hmm. It was tough. Um, wow. But when things get tough, there's people in your life that come into your life and new doors open. So it was an individual, a friend of mine, who told us about a concept that we had never heard about. And it was a concept that kind of just said, wow, we're scratching our head thinking, man. It's not possible. Did, <laughs> yeah. Why, why didn't our, why didn't our uh, financial advisor tell us about this concept of learning how we could become our own bankers and how yes. we can actually turn the whole thing around for us? And that's where it all changed. And I got, Michelle and I got so motivated by this and so excited that we said, this is the way out. This is how we're going to do this. This is how we're going to get out of debt. And this is how we're going to actually create more income in our life to help us get out of this situation. And that's exactly what it did back in 08. And now we're looking, what, 12 years later or so? Here we are. Wow, that's wonderful. Now, Stephen, there are a lot of people that I know that are kind of in the hole, almost one of those um, crab in the bucket mindset where there is nowhere that I'm going to get up because the edges are so slippery and I have nothing to grip on. And everything that I thought that was going to work is not working anymore. And you mentioned it earlier on that, you know, having the right people in your life to step up and say, uh, I can help here when the go to um, civilization yeah. says no. And so what do you do when the bank says no? When the one who issues the umbrella says, I'm sorry, I have no more material to build an umbrella. You're just going to have to get wet. So what do you do then? So can you help us understand? And for those who are listening for the first time, if you listen to me for the first time, this is Andrew E. Guy on the M-O-R-N-I-N-G. It's the Isla podcast. That's right. I'm listening. I'm ready. It's the podcast that's dedicated for those who are on the go, whether you travel by land, air, or sea. This is me, Andrew E. Guy, and I'm talking to my good friend all the way out there in Vancouver, B.C., before yeah. everything started. That's right, B.C., and he is bringing you some financial wisdom, and I want you to tune in. I want you to get your pen. I want you to get your paper because he is going to download. If you need to get a bigger <laughs> hard drive, go get you one of them, right, them terabytes because he's about to throw down some great information that's going to help you, your family, and your business take care or take control of your financial future. That's what we want to do today, all right? So, Stephen, people struggle with, I don't know. You know, there's a, a Bible verse that says, 
lack of knowledge caused people to perish. Mm -hmm. I really think that's one of the main things that why people are perishing and under the stress and so forth. They don't know. Can you help them understand like how can they get out of a hole financially and what are some of the tools that you would recommend for them? Definitely Tim Bob. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's key is we could have crawled in a hole and and, yes. and just broke. Right. And and not become stronger. Mm -hmm. So we had to, to realize that we have the capabilities inside us, even though we may not find them right away, they actually become uh, awaken. It's like that monster starts to come out, right? Because you're going to have to make a decision what to right. do here Correct. to better your life. And human beings are about bettering your lives, no matter yes. how difficult yes. things are. So it was that situation that said, well, we got to better our lives because we're not going to go back to work for somebody. Mm -hmm. We're entrepreneurial. So we're yes. going to take on the risks. We're going to live with this debt in our life, but we're going to have that vision to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So it was from the, one of the mentors and friends that said, Hey, you got to mentors in your life. You got to have people like Andrew in your life, people in your lives are going to teach you. So this individual uh, gave us a couple books to read and can you believe it a couple books can actually <laughs> change your life yes, you know you can. think about you think about shelf life you know these yes. books on the shelf life all on these, shelf that's that's yeah. powerful man i love that concept yeah. i mean all these self-improvement books that i read trying to see what is this quick fix there is no quick fix in life yes it's about making a choice to actually learn something and implement it so that's right these books right. were so incredible that we actually said, well, we're going to implement this and we're going to learn and see if it works in Canada. And because obviously these books are written in the U.S. and these two individuals are mentors as well. One's passed on. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, these books are real. So we basically looked at these books, read them. <laughs> uh, one of the books is uh, Becoming Your Own Banker by R. Nelson Nash, which is an amazing individual. Uh, lived until he was 83 incredible person so i learned mm -hmm. so much from him and the other one was bank on yourself right Pamela Nellen, amazing one of the top uh, 50 most influential women in finance in the u.s uh so those literally two the two books changed our lives mm -hmm. we said okay this is incredible let's learn this stuff and let's get this implemented in our lives how am i going to do that well i thought well for me i wanted to do it myself and learn it and become licensed to do it i was so passionate about it i thought well i found my calling because I wanted to be a teacher, didn't right. become a teacher. But I thought, well, I could teach financial intelligence. You're still a I teacher, te man. <laughs> I know. I could te teach how you implement the strategy in Canada, right. become your own banker, and learn how to self-finance your cars and help your ch children go through university right. or buy real estate or invest, right? And, and teach people how to create savings. And the things I've learned from all my mentors is we've been brainwashed to think about investing first, instead of really building a foundation. I'm, I'm a wealth architect, so it's about engineering and building. Correct. How are we gonna architect that financial future for you? Wow. It first starts with your foundation yes. and your foundation yes. is making sure that you have two years of salary saved mm -hmm. to make sure you have protective expenses in place such as proper life insurance and critical right. illness and disability. Why the heck are you starting to invest in speculative stuff that you can lose every penny without having that safety net first. So we were always flipped on the other end, right? right. I always said, everyone told me, Stephen, you got to invest. You got to risk yeah. to ever get ahead in life. You got to look at the long term. <laughs> That's not true. Right. There's a difference between the big myth is investing versus saving. And there is a big myth there. Can you, investing talk, can you talk about that? Can you talk about that for a bit? Investing versus Yeah, because money. investing means that you have to take on risk and volatility and investing means that you have to take on that risk to actually make that return mm -hmm. and grow your money correct saving well, means mm -hmm. that saving is pitiful because you never ever grow your money right in savings but savings also means that you won't lose your money correct so where should people go should they figure about okay i'm just going to focus on investing and what if I tank in the March collapse and other collapses we've seen and more collapses that are going to come? Mm -hmm. Are you willing to risk your financial future on risk, which is fine to invest? Or would you prefer to first have savings that you can count on as a bunker, a financial bunker that you can use when things like we've seen in, in our lives 
aren't as good as we want them to be right now. True. And you need to have that safety net. So I'm a very safe, conscious person. It's not that I don't invest or risk money. We have certainly in the past, mm -hmm. but we, we do it calculated and do it based on our purpose and that we really understand that investment and know the risks behind it. So we can say, yeah, if I lose that money tomorrow, I made that decision that I'm okay with it. But okay. you know, okay. the things that becoming your own banker stuff that we teach is first about saving and keeping your money. So it never goes down on for you, uh, no matter what happens. I absolutely love this. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you need to go get a pen. You need to go get paper. You need to get something to write with and something to write on. You might be using a, a pencil. I don't care what you're using. If you're using your fingernail to scratch this information in your skin, you better make sure it stays and it register. You need this information. I'm telling you, I mean, the bank is not going to pay you. The bank is not looking out for you. You know, he said, bank on yourself. I'm definitely going to be reading that book too for 2021. It's a book that I'm recommending. Go check it out. And there are other books that we want to talk about too, Stephen, right? I, I know that you have also written a book with um, Brian Tracy. So uh, when you want to talk a little bit about that, just give him a little bit about so he can get that book also. And also we're going to go back and we're going to talk about um, McDev Financial because I I want them to see what you have to offer. I want them to get out there and go get it. So about this book that you wrote, tell us about it, Transform Your Life. What's up with that? Well, back in the 90s, when I got into some serious sales where it was cold calling and, you know, having that nervousness and not sure what to say and having that rejection, you know, I was brand new into that really like cold calling, like 400 a day type mm -hmm. idea. I need to know how to sell. Right. <laughs> Right. And Brian Tracy at the time had amazing books that were all about selling. Yeah, he's pretty how good. To have, how to have the skills to sell, right? Mm -hmm. And how to handle that rejection and to right. know what to say and how to move on, right? right? So it was that ability when I started to do some some work on uh, promoting uh, MacDev Financial and really right. trying to get my story out to the masses. I got an invitation to do a co-authored book with Brian Tracy called Transform, That's which cool. is teaching business owners, individuals, and families how they can transform their life, whether it's in business, whether it's in their career, or whether it's in their in their health or in their relationships. There's all that balance, right? That's so cool. I had the privilege and honor to be part of that book to basically put in my story uh, what kind of what I was talking about earlier. Yes. Um, of where we are and why I, I am what doing what I am today and why I'm passionate about teaching people how to have financial control for life without taking unnecessary risk, right? So awesome. uh, we were pretty excited to have that book. And I did another book as well with Pamela Allen, which is also a best-selling book called The Secret to Lifetime Financial Security. So that's an amazing book too. Um, and then uh, we have lots of stuff that I've done uh, online and other things, publications. <laughs> I don't really toot my own horn. I don't really like to. So yeah, uh, I, you know. I know that, you know, Steve, because I used to be the same way. And I, um, what I've learned is, and this is from much praying and worrying about stuff. Like, you know, I don't want to come off condescending as if, you know, I am the know-it-all. I am the fountain of knowledge and all that stuff. But I had a rude awakening yeah. many, many years ago. And I'm there, you know, because I'm a man of faith. You know, I'm not a religious individual. I believe that we're created by the creator to use our gifts, skills, yeah. and expertise to change lives. That's basically yeah. what we're here for. We yeah, got a duty to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And that's why I know that we see eye to eye. And I'm praying. I, said, I don't want to go out and be talking about myself all the time. And then what I have learned is not about selling. It's mm -hmm. about telling people informing them how what I have in my hand can help you. Yeah. And when I learned that, I said, whoa. Oh, by the way, at the end of it, my name is Andrew. I give them the information first. Yeah. And then at the end, I said, oh yeah, by the way, just in case you miss it, my name is Andrew E. Guy. And so it's yeah. about saying, I have something in my hand that can help you. I have a pen and you can take this pen and you can write down a plan for your life and then go see um, Stephen um, Devlin and he will tell you exactly what to write down on the paper. I just provide the pen. He's yeah. going to tell you what to write and set up your financial future so you can take in control. I love that. Well said. That's Yeah. Uh, and I don't longer have that issue about selling myself because I give them the information. I give them the fish, teach them how to fish. I said, just in case you have more questions, 
this is who I am. This is where you find me. And I've used that um, approach and it's been so, um, it, I feel a sense of freedom. You know, I don't yeah. feel captive. Like I'm trying to sell, come off like a CZ um, salesman. I just say, this is what it is. This, I can help you. Boom. Need to know where I am. Go ahead and find me out there. All right. So I'm going to tell them a little bit more about you, Stephen, because we got a few more questions that we want to go through right here. Okay. So uh, I'm ladies and gentlemen, if you listen to me for the first time, this is Andrew E. Guy on the Isla podcast with Mr. Um, Stephen Devlin, and he's giving us some financial wisdom to help you to take control of your financial life while limiting the risk of transforming your living. That's basically what's going to happen right here. And now uh, with a drive to succeed and to help others to do the same Stephen Devlin is the co-founder of two of Canada's um, leading companies in creating safe and secure wealth building system for personal use and business. With offices across Canada as a president and chief financial officer with McDev Financial Group and Set Financial Inc., Stephen leads an exclusive group of advisors that specialize in his financial philosophy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting back to the question. I'm getting back to the conversation with my friend out there in Vancouver, Mr. Stephen Devlin. Now, Stephen. Thank you. When we talk about this um, fear of stepping out into something new, and the newness I'm talking about is about taking control, and people feel fearful when they lose control. That's the issue right here. And I love what you're saying. You're coming in to say, listen, you already have control. You yeah. just need to get the tools to rev you up so you can take action. So can you tell us like a, a one to five kind of statement from a financial perspective? How can somebody do that for their, their, their life using um, life insurance? Well, it takes uh, courage <laughs> to look right. at your finances. Mm -hmm. It's not always an easy thing to do and it's not always pretty. So it takes courage. It takes strength. You need someone that can guide and keep you along the right track. You want someone who's going to give you encouragement, support, but also tough love too. Mm -hmm. End of the day, it's your money and you're going to use your money in the decisions you make. So you want to be accountable. So I kind right. of be at an accountability to right. say, yeah, you told me you want this goal. And this goal, goal requires money to achieve this goal. Right. How are we going to work towards to get it for you? And what are you going to do? What steps are you going to take? Right. So that's where it first starts. Is anytime a new client comes into our family, because we love our family, our family is our clients. They're our right. lifeblood. They are our lifeblood. And we want to work with them to help them get on track. And it pleases me so much. Like it's the happiest thing in my life when a client texts me or sends me a photo of something where they use the tools to be their own banker. And they sent me a photo of a Tesla they bought or they expanded their business or they did this or that, right? Or a new grandchild's come into, the, into their world. Hey, I want to get a policy on my grandchild <laughs> to it. teach my grandchild how to be his or her own banker, right? So it takes steps. So we have an intake process. We really focus on the client's goals, concerns around money. Mm -hmm. So that important question that we send to every client okay. is what's, what's important to you about money? Okay. That is your value and people yes. have values. So whatever your values are around money, they better be aligned and be congruent with yes. where you're putting your money. Yes. Because <laughs> if one of my values is financial security, and protection for my family. And if I don't have life insurance, I'm totally against that value. Correct. Right. Or I don't want to be in a risky environment, but why is all my money sitting in the markets? Is that really congruent to one of those values? Correct. So that's where we start. Mm -hmm. And then we build in their financial picture where they are today, where they want to be. We always ask that question you know, in five years from today, what would have happened to ensure that you're happy with our progress? Okay. Well, Stephen, I want to, I want to accomplish this, 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 right? So we focus on that. Once we get all that established, we start to teach and educate and inspire about how to become your own banker and learn uh, what we call with MacDev, which is um, our trademark as well, uh, is Bank on Whole Life, Bull. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're the only company in Canada that has the concepts all the concepts under us and we teach canadians how to understand this concept 
because it's written in the US and how it works in Canada. So right. bank on whole life. So the concept that you've been aware of is what well, you know, I've taught you and sent to you is yes. bank on yourself as a book, become your own banker as a book. Garrett Gunderson, an amazing mentor and amazing person as well that I'm working with, partnered, you know, has books, what would the Rockefellers do, et cetera. Right. So these are all books, right? And then we don't want to shoot a fire hose at clients, but we want them to get engaged and excited Correct. to read or to watch videos, et cetera. So once that all goes through, then we start teaching them okay. how they can start incorporating these concepts in their life and learn, hey, you know what? We need money, right? That's correct. And for things? Money solves problems. It's biblical. Yeah. Money yeah. Money solves problems. Richest Man in Babylon. I mean, that book's amazing. I mean, we need the money wealthy, to... The Wealthy Barber. Wealthy Barber love, that, yeah. love those movies. Love those, those books. Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. But Stephen, so far, I have this, right? I have... They need to have the courage to make sure that they can review their financial status, right? And the next one is value. Understanding your value for yourself and for your family. And then the big financial picture, that's where you guys come in to show them this is how this is going to work. This is what it looks like, right? So the yeah. big financial picture, then we go down into the pixel. We dig a little deeper because the picture is made up of pixels, right? And then after you said to educate them, we want to educate them. Here is the big picture, but help me educate you so you can understand what you need to do now that you've seen the big picture. Now, yeah. the next one, what's the next one? The last one, because we, we, we're going to get people to get this. They have to get this information. We could be here for days, but, you know, end of the day, we just want them to be excited yes. and passionate about something related in their life around money. Okay. And so many people come to me and they're just dissatisfied with what's going on in their money. Or they said, gee, Stephen, I've worked this long and I should have more money. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have more money? Or why can I not get this goal accomplished? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. That's where we want to start seeing where you hit the pedal, right? And the rubber meets the road. That's as correct. they start seeing things visualized, it doesn't need to be a big binder of their financial plan. No. It just needs to be a one pager and setting their goals so they can visualize that, right? Like That's where it starts, right? Powerful. Does that make sense? I love it because now I have a five thing that I can tell them. I said, guys, if you're looking to transform your life, but when we post this stuff out there, we're going to say, here are some steps that you can get right, right now. You need to get out there and connect with Steven because we're saying you need to have the courage to review your financial status, where you are, understanding your value. You need to get a financial picture. You need the education. And then after that, you got to be motivated to want to change your life, Right. And I figure if somebody's motivated to do that, then they're going to go through the process and be willing to go through the process for that transformational process to make that thing happen, right? And not always walking the same path and looking look, look. at maybe someone left a trail, but is it really the right trail? Right, that's true. Are we willing to look maybe what we call the blind side that Nelson Nash used to teach, teach, mm -hmm. teach that is there's some things or veils that we don't see at times. Correct. And then it takes hardship where, boom, this veil opens up. It's mm -hmm. like the Wizard of Oz, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that really what's happened in the Wizard of Oz? <laughs> is what this what happened with becoming your own banker? Is, geez, uh, dividend paying whole life insurance? Really? Is that it? Come on. <laughs> I'm not that excited. Jeez, Stephen. But look, when you start realizing how impactful this tool is, if it's designed correctly, if it's with the right insurance company, if it's been the same thing that Walt Disney and the billionaires do and, you know, Jimmy Patterson and all these billionaires who use this tool right. to help their, their, their world and help their, and the Rockefellers, et cetera. Right. Wow. It's amazing when you start looking at the billionaires and how much uh, of dividend paying whole life they have, even the banks too. So we've got so many uh, things that we can show clients to teach them. Yeah, this is something real, but you have to be willing to look at the math and really challenge it. And look at, geez, the math is the math. Right. And if you want to look at the math, then here's what we can show you where your life could go. We're not saying this is a one-time only thing. We're holistic and we want your money in different places. But right. this is part of your financing tool. Yes. So that means when you go buy a vehicle, you can finance your own vehicle and own it free and clear. And basically pay the payments to yourself. Go ahead, and guess what? Tell it, brother. Tell it. Go ahead. Preach you, it. Go ahead. When you access this tool, this policy, you don't interrupt the growth of your money. 
which is so inefficient. It's like emptying the tank out of the savings. So if you went, Andrew, if you went and bought your car and said, oh, Stephen, I'm going to go buy this car. I've got the money saved into my savings account. You're like so excited. Yes. You're going to get deals because it's going to be paid cash. That's right. And then pull, you're all, you pull it all out of savings. Then what? You start all over again. You got to start saving again, right? <laughs> That's true, man. Wow. Well, what, how many people what, do you think need what to you do this? Pardon? So how many people do you think need or lacking this basic information? Because you talked about foundation and I don't yeah. think people have this fundamental. And I say fun in front of the mental. I don't think we have this fundamental idea that we need to really build a foundation. And many people talk about investing. Earlier on, you said, no, let's deal with you first. When I talk about in health and wellness, you need to take care of your health and your well-being because it doesn't matter how much money you have out there. Yeah. You're going to die and leave it and you won't even get a chance to enjoy it. And you are saying the same thing, but from a financial perspective, let's start with the foundational stuff and get that stuff right. And that's powerful, Stephen. Starts with children. You know, I taught with junior achievement in schools. Yes. They don't get this information. Of course. It's like are. growing up, what'd you learn from your parents, right? <laughs> About money. Well, you know, my parents taught me that, geez, you know, Stephen, don't buy something unless you have the money. And then in these days, there's a hilarious skit on Saturday Night Live with Steve Martin. That guy's funny. <laughs> about, about, are you serious? I have to actually have the money to buy something? <laughs> I can't go put it on a credit card or pay later? It's a foreign concept that right. I actually have to have the money to buy something. Right. And we're in this instant gratification society, right? The Kiyosaki teaches, right? Mm -hmm. But this is about delayed gratification. And yes, you need to capitalize, we call it, like Nelson Nash calls it. Uh, we want to capitalize and grow our policy to a point where you can achieve those goals. Yes. And the, the coolest thing that Michelle and I just loved about it is that, yeah, we can finance things and we can sit back. And if something happens in our life, we don't have the pressure of getting our credit score tanked, having to make payments, right? right. Um, during this situation uh, that we're in right now in the world, you know, clients were so happy they have this tool mm -hmm. to help them get through tough times. And they were very thankful that they had these policies to access cash to get them through paying expenses or other things that came up, right? So like, for example, um, this wasn't a question that was planned to ask, but what I want to find out, like how are, are how is MacDev helping people, especially in this time of COVID? I mean, what's special about your company and what you do to help people get through this grinding crisis of the COVID? Because we say, oh, it's going to be six months. And then we don't know. There's a, there's a lockdown. Yeah. There's this level of uncertainty that's happened. How is, fine? I mean, MacDev helping them to get through this? Tell us. Well, we kind of broke the rule about talking about COVID. Right. Because <laughs> every time we put the... Uh... The COVID word, we put a, a loony in the in the jar. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. Because we always get so fixated on, this is all we ever talk about. Right? Correct. Correct. You see somebody I've been seeing forever on Zoom and it's about, you know what? Right. But you know what? It's an important part of our life that's there right, right. now. We have to adapt and humans are adaptable. Yes. And we're going to be stronger, right? So I think the big thing with MacDev Financial, what we're doing with people with, co with what's going on with COVID is that we're helping them see that there is a light now. Mm -hmm. to see that they can have that access to money. Right. And when there's challenges financially, there's also huge opportunities too. It's a huge wealth transfer, right? When there's yes. downturn, yeah. there's upturn, there's cash available to make opportunities happen. There's low mortgage rates to buy their first dream home perhaps yes. or buy an investment property, right? Uh, so there's lots of positives that people can see in this environment that we're in right now. And then they need to have the capital that's secure and always there to help realize that goal. And that's where we come in is because now we've got the capital help for them to say, oh, this is amazing, Stephen, I can do this, or I can invest in this company. I've always watched and love this company. I can make some investments or awesome. hey, my, ch my children are now going into university years. I've got the capital or, hey, I've got this great opportunity to buy this real estate, right? And I need the down payment. It's and powerful. look at this. My policies have the money in it to make this goal happen. I don't have to go and deal with the bank as much as I would have normally had to do in the past, right? This is powerful stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to me for the first time, this is Andrew E. Guy. 
with the Allah podcast. I'm listening. I'm ready. It is the podcast dedicated for those who want to go, whether you're traveling by land here or sea. I'm sitting here talking, hanging out with Mr. Steven. I'm Devlin all the way out there in Vancouver, BC. And we're just chalking it up and we're talking about your finance. We're talking about your life. We're talking about transformation. We're talking about control. We're talking about you and your family and what you want to do with them in the future. Do you want to have them worrying about you? Do you want to have them stress? What do you want? And we're trying to help you to understand, as Stephen is saying, help you to take control now. Yeah. So yeah. that yeah. you will have a brighter future ahead because you have taken control today. Don't put this thing off. All right. So, Stephen, I got a, about two more, two or three more questions, and we're going to get into the aspect of our show. We talk about think, fire, shoot. And I ask you four questions. You got exactly one minute, 15 seconds per question. And uh, you're on the hot seat, brother. And you got to answer these uh, to the best of your uh, ability and while giving people some value uh, as they're listening, all right? So Just say well, next. If I get too long-winded, say next one, number oh, two. Oh, no, I have a clock right there, man, and it's going off. And I'll let you know what's happening, all right? <laughs> yeah, I love it. Awesome. Keep me on track. I got you, man. I got you, my friend. Um, you know, we already talk about where people can find you, but I want you to churn that out again. Could you tell them again where they can find you? I want them to hear it as much as possible from you. Where can they find you? Go. Well, we can find me on the internet like this on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> in your households, in your working home offices. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm in out here in BC. Uh, but yeah, you can find me and I'll be with you. Uh, MacDevFinancial.com. Again, MacDevFinancial.com is the first place to start. Uh, reach out to us. We have amazing staff that will reach back to you and get up a personal call with me, a 30-minute intro call, so we can learn more about you um, and find out, hey, can I help? That's the main thing is our why. Our why is we want to help and serve people and help them live the life they love, basically. I am uh, right across Canada, so some of you obviously listening are not here in BC. Uh, so we help lots of people right in other provinces actually so with the virtual world that we're in uh, right. there you go all right awesome man so listen uh, um Stephen, i got um one main question i want to ask you what was like the the breaking point in your life i mean you, we alluded to it earlier on it was finances but what what was it that caused you to get out of this sense of normalcy disrupted your normalcy to transform the life that you're living right now? Because I think a lot of us are just living a normal life. And the goal of this show is to disrupt their normalcy yeah. so they can see the change that they want to live. So how, when did that happen for you? Yeah, I love that normalcy. And I am a disruptor in a friendly way. I care, but we have to ask tough questions Correct. to get you to make a decision to move to the next step, right? Yes. So uh, it was not necessary that 208, although that was huge calamity for us. It was more about losing a job mm -hmm. um, that uh, it was a year where I was only married, uh, not even what, two years in, yeah, 2002. And mm -hmm. um, we lost my, my adopted father that year. Uh, mm -hmm. I have two fathers actually, amazing, amazing men in my life too, amazing mentors. And then, um, you know, uh, Michelle lost her mom too. So it was tough, right? right. And we had a, and a miscarriage too. So it was a tough time in our life. Right. But losing that job, like, whoa, man, it was tough because I then realized that, geez, I do not want to be relying on that anymore. Right. I can't. I can't rely on it. I can't rely on someone else for my livelihood. So it made me make a decision um, to get out there and figure out a way to earn my own living. <laughs> so, I love it. And it, it's, it was uh, really where it started, right? I had to figure out how to be a business owner, but a uh, you know, person that can go out there and create income. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, that there, I said it, that's Southern, that there, that there was Mr. Stephen Devlin. And he's helping you to understand you want to get out of this sense of normalcy. I want you to disrupt your normalcy and make sure that you're able to take control of your life. And he is going to help you to get that done. MacDevFinancial.com. That's where you need to go. You need to run, hop, skip, fly, <laughs> whatever you got to do to get over, get over there. <laughs> MacDev Financial and Steven will hook. To, you guess what? Tell him Andrew E. Guy sent you. Yeah. He, he, he'll fix you up. He'll fix you up. 
Now, Stephen, now here's what we're going to do right now. So it's time for Think, Fire, Shoot. And it's the time in our show when we ask you these four questions. You're on the hot seat and you got to answer this to the best of your ability. You got only 15 seconds, my brother. And um, I'm just telling you right now, see how fast that came out? Uh, 15 seconds to do it. And I'm going to ask you these. These questions could be a word, series of word, or one sentence or a phrase or a quote. All right. So here's the first question. The first question is simply this. And it's related to your field. So I know you got this. Okay. Are you ready? So the clock is on, my brother, and clock is set. Here we go. We're ready to rock and roll in three, two, one. So I'm going to read a quick little piece of your bio to let people know who I'm dealing with and who is on the hot seat. And then after you're going to say, my name is Stephen Devlin, and I'm happy to be here, and let's rock and roll. And that's it. And then we're going to start. All right? Okay, All right. ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to uh, Mr. Stephen Devlin. He's a professional. Um, accolades include numerous industry awards. And I'm going to read off some of these awards so you can understand what this man is talking about, what he's doing. Top life sales in 2012, 2013, 2018 from Equitable Life of Canada. And then he has this amazing award here, the, the Quilly Award from the National Academy of Best Selling Authors. And he got it again, the Quilly Award for the best-selling author. And then he has this amazing book that you're gonna to have to go check out it's called Transform Your Life with none other than Mr. Brian Tracy. You have got to go and check out that book. He has the credentials is out the roof. He has made appearances on USA Today, Forbes, Mag, a and &E, um, the Times Square Today, um, Showtime with Nick Nanton. I'm talking, he has so much, but I just want to let you know the type of individual he is. And when you go to look him up at mattdeffinancial.com, you know he's got the credibility to help you to get where you want to be. And that there, my friend, is Mr. Stephen Devlin. All right. So, Stephen, say hi to the people and let's get ready for Think Fire Shoot. I do. This is Stephen Devlin. So happy to be here. You're the best. Love you, man. <laughs> incredible show, incredible podcast. It's infectious. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, we're ready to rock and roll. So the first yeah. question is simply this. First question, time is on. Here we go. Financial literacy. Financial literacy. Why is it missing in school? Go. Well, it's missing in school because we get older and we make decisions around money. And those decisions aren't necessarily going to help impact our life for the future. Boom. We got um, 13.5 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. He's still good. He's still good. We're going to turn up the stove right now. Here we go. Next question. Next question. And the question is simple. It's a quote that's coming out in an upcoming book. And it says this, on the highway of life, most people spend their time looking in the rear view mirror instead of looking through the windshield on the highway of living. Your thoughts, go. Life is a highway. <laughs> you have to have that goal and that drive to see ahead and obviously live in the present, right? It's not about the destination. Is it not just the journey and what we're in today? So I think the big lesson on that one is, yeah, look forward, but enjoy while you're in that driver's seat. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I'm uh, 14.6 seconds. Not bad. Very good. Let's see. I mean, it's still doing good. All right. Question <laughs> number three. Question number three is simply this. My life matters. Why? Go. Uh, my, my, my life matters because I am providing for my loved ones. And uh, I want them to know that I love them. I want to provide the best life to make them happy. And I want to do the same the best I can for all of my clients and to know that I'm here for them. And I really cherish who they are and I want to see them accomplish those goals that's really who I am and why and when I'm gone from this planet I want people to look back and say hey Stephen was awesome he really helped me do a lot of things in my life that geez I may not have been able to do without him <laughs> so 29.5 kind of seconds ladies and gentlemen he went way <laughs> over but you know what though it's, it's a policy of our show the time that he has gone over, we're going to put that as accreditation for his next interview because we definitely got to bring Stephen back. All right. So uh, <laughs> we're going to subtract that from his time for his future. <laughs> his future oh, this is fun. The hot stove is fun. Yeah. All right, man. Last one. The last one is probably the hardest one. Uh oh. Purpose. Purpose. What in the world is purpose to you? Go. Yeah. Profound. Purpose is serving others and making a better world for all of us. It's 
purposes, loving each other and accepting everyone's differences and that we're all really all one. We're all like flowers in one garden, right? So we're all different colors and it's all beautiful, right? <laughs> so we love gardens with colors. So that's what I'm saying. That's our purpose is to help and make the world better and serve others. Bottom line. Nice. 19.6 seconds. Hey, listen, you went over it. Doesn't matter. But there's the information and the advice that you give an individual. So the timer was to get you on the hot seat to get you think fast. But the thing is that you did simply amazing. You rocked it, my friend. Thank you. And listen, man, I'm going to give you the last word because that's just kind of what I do. And just kind of tell people what you want them to know. And, um, and that's basically it. So ladies and gentlemen, this episode was brought to you by Matt Dev Financial. So Steve, Steven, this is your time. This is your word. I'm going to put you on the big screen and I'm going to let you let it rip. So any final words you want to say, it's on you. It's yours. Plug anything you want to plug. It's your time. Go. But I just want to say, hey, you know, it's been an amazing experience to be on this show. So much amazing energy from you. And, you know, Andrew, you're incredible. <laughs> so I just want to give it back to you. Right. Obviously. Uh, is what you're doing uh, is going to make a powerful impact in people's lives for them to be on the show uh, and listen to the show and the guests that you bring on. Incredible. Uh, for me, really, it's just, you know, there's some amazing tools out there financially. Don't just take what you see. Stretch your mind, look outside the box and look at alternatives. Look at what the wealthy are doing. Look at key techniques that you can incorporate in your life. And it's fun. Put your finances in a video game, right? And teach your children this and learn how to be your own banker. Uh, it's so empowering and create that legacy. I'm all about legacy and making sure money goes to more than one generation, right? And teach our families that wealth can continue on to help that family give more to the planet, right? And help those businesses or whatever they're doing in their careers and get, get some discipline in our children to know that they got to replay the money that they take out of these policies because that's being an honest banker you've got to replenish your system <laughs> you don't want to steal from it right uh so these things i'm just so passionate about and i'm just as passionate today as i was back when 2008 when i first learned about it so you know i'm 55 years old uh i'm so blessed to where i am now being 10 years into this compared to you know where we were back then we learned back then and our souls evolve and grow um, so, you know, I'm different. I'm growing and learning every day. Right. So check us out. <laughs> Hopefully we can help you. But again, it all starts with education and we're here to help educate. So we're pleased to get, send books to you and other information to help you, uh, uh, engage and learn more from us. It'd be a, pr a privilege and honor to meet you and talk to you. All Thank right. you, Andrew. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our time for Isla Podcast. I'm listening. I'm ready. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope that you got the information that you need. Run out there, and I want you to go and look up my guest, Mr. Stephen Devlin, out there at MacDevFinancial.com. That's MacDevFinancial.com. He's got the tools. He's got the wherewithal. He has got the awards and the accolades. He's got it all. He come ready to help you to take control of your life and your finance. He's going to ask you those tough questions. It's tough love because he care about you. And that's basically what he's saying. So go check him out. Mr. Stephen Devlin out there at MacDev Financial. Take care of yourself and have yourself a fantastic rest of the day. And you know what we say? Keep listening. Stay ready. Talk soon. Until then, take care. Peace. Until next time, keep listening, live ready, talk soon.